making our pig shelter today and uh, let me show you what we've got so far. This is the base that are, is going on. I'm not going to share the dimensions because that you can make it whatever dimension you want. But what I've done, if you look at this feature over here, this back is sticking out a little bit further. And if you look, I've drilled some holes in here. So you see there's, there's a hole in here. I, I put one here, I measured backwards. I need the hole out here. I'm going to run a half edge EMT or whatever. It's actually not a half inch, but I, I need to find the right diameter and it's going to run side to side and I'll be able to slip. I have wheels that I'll slip over this when we want to move it. So we'll pick up that end and just kind of wheel it out because it will be pretty heavy with the barn wood, wood that we're putting on it. So I've got this frame made and I put these on the inside, these on the outside. Now I knew what dimensions I wanted. It's supposed to be square. So I took the, the width of the, this wood that's here and made this one that much less long than this one so that it comes out square on and the inside. And ours is basically a five by five, right? Yeah, yeah, it's five by five is how it's coming out. So now for the uprights, we want it to be 18 inches at the back and 48 inches at the front. So I'm fastening these uprights on like this and I, I because of the dimensions, because it is it's it's five foot that way, and then it, it the the rise between this and that is 30 inches, and it's 60 inches that it's rising. So when you do the math, that that comes out to the right length for this. But uh, we hope. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put it on and find out. We're, we're going to put it on and find out. So what that amounts to? These are 45 degree angles. So. Okay. Let's do a testing. Testing, testing, testing. Didn't work. It's at a different angle. So what angle is this at? Set it down to where match it up to the to the bottom. To the point that we can match it at. And okay. then we just draw a line and that'll let me know what I need to do. So this ends up being a 27% angle, not a 45 degree it's angle. Degree. Uh, yeah. 45 degree, not percent. A 40 27. 27 degree angle instead of a 45. And we made it a 45 to begin with and then just laid the board on there and we're able to make it and it worked great. We're going to see if it worked great right now. Are we doing more? Bad math on my part, that's all. No, you did great. Look at that. That is so awesome. So, and actually this will set out like this is how that's gonna be setting. This is the front of the pig loo where they'll go into. And this is the back and it'll be 18 inches from here. Do you need me to hold it? Well, I just want to be sure. No, I, I just not want it to make noise. Go ahead. Okay, we might need to hold. Do you see how it went crooked? You're going more crooked. There you go. We painted all of these with the exterior paint that we had for the chicken tractor. And we've got all of this barn wood that's standing over here that we're going to put on the sides. It's going to be pretty cool. But it's going to be heavy and that's why we're putting the wheels on so we can drag it from paddock to paddock with the piglets. Okay, I think it's breakfast time. Okay, I just want to find, how do we know then how far this goes? I want it to go six inches each side. Oh, okay. So I'm going to measure. And it's going to I've already got that calculated. It's, it's, that's going to be... And it's going to stand this way? It's going to be 72 and then... And so are you making it at a straight angle? You know, that's a good point. We, we're going we're gonna to measure it the way we want and then we're going to do an angle on that. Yeah, that's great. Let's go eat breakfast. Let's go do that.
are not going to believe what I did today. I had a little bit of help, but I got up this morning and I thought, you know, I need to move some tools from little barn to big barn. And then I, one thing led to another and, and, and guess what? I should have filmed it, but hey, he was working on the pig loo and so we were filming that. It's pretty amazing. We have concrete. Look, I did all this. I hung all of those. And we cleaned this all up. We hung stuff up there. We cleaned all of this wall. We stacked our boxes up nice, which are gonna go in our garden. We stacked all this stuff. And what's gonna happen is, so over to here, it's all concrete, all this. And this isn't. And so from that wall to that one, I'm gonna put in uh, stalls in here so that we can have them for animals that might need them at a particular time. It's turning into a real barn that's clean and neat and tidy. And I loved it. I had so much fun doing it. And a special thank you to Jim and Austin who helped me in the end. Okay, Jim, this is seriously sweet. So now we'll move it to the back and put hay well, in there. Thought. We have shade there all morning, sun at night. I think it needs to spin around. Really? Sun, look at this, sun's gonna be in here in the afternoon. Yeah. We're not gonna have shade. Okay. So, um. But look how sweet it is. Yeah. I am in love with it. I mean, it is. Phenomenal. I gotta take a picture. So let's spin it and get a bale of hay. Okay. Oh my gosh, I so love it. Let me get a good picture. You feel this sweat? No, I've already just had a shower. It's hot. <laughs> the we're, heat is back. <laughs> heat's back, uh, and that's great. So we're almost finished with the pig shelter. We've got couple more things that we need to do on it. One is, I forgot. Fill it full of hay. Oh yeah, we gotta put hay in it. I knew there was something. Cause uh, they like to waller in there. I mean, hide yep. in there. And then we are gonna, in each place that we put it, we are gonna dig a little bit of a pit we can put water in so that they can get in it and have some cool. We have turned it so that it opens to the north. That, so the, that the pig shelter. The pig shelter opens to the north so that the west wall with the heat is protected and they're shady. Yeah, yep. so they, they, they don't have to be in the sun. Honey, I really like it. Yeah, we it saw it on Pinterest and yeah. just did it. So, so. We, we, we had to buy some two by threes for the frame. Yeah, we just did it with two by threes because they were a dollar cheaper than two by fours. Yep, yep. And it, with, with the barn wood we were using, it gets all the sturdiness into it, so it's great. So. That's in place. Uh, I still have to put together the water nipple. Got all the parts and pieces for doing that. It's kind of cool what we're going to be able to do with Thanks that. Thanks to Austin at yep. Homesteady yes. who has a great video on how I mean, to do that. I mean, I didn't do it exactly like he did it, but uh, he, he, at got, least get, 
he got my imagination going. <laughs> so uh, the way that I'm going to fasten it up is similar to his, but we're, his, he was installing his in a, um, it was actually in the barn, and so slightly different situation. So I'm going to adapt to our circumstance. But we did buy a nice brass four-way four four manifold. manifold for the um, pump. For the hoses yeah. that come out. So that, that's going to work good. And then we also need to build, build the feeder. And we've looked at a few examples of uh, feeders, DIY feeders, and we, we believe we have all of the materials for making In that. fact, Al Lumna from Lumna Acres did one with barn wood. So we're like, yay, we like that so much better than plywood. Yeah, so. the, the construction looks like one that'll stay together really well with the uh, hammering that pigs tend to do on it. So we're going to give that a give that a whirl and, and see will the education starts this next week yep we'll see how they train us <laughs> we hope you're eating right um, we hope that you are taking time for yourself we hope that you're standing up straight keeping your posture yeah, right and exercising every day <laughs> and <laughs> we hope you had a really good Saturday and that you have a good Sunday because that's when this comes out bye bye thanks for watching